Hey everyone, it's Delaney, Senior Inbound Marketing Specialist at Hive House Digital. Today, I'm going to walk you through three different ways to keep your HubSpot contacts clean. First, let's go over importing contacts into HubSpot. Now, this is super important so you make sure that you don't add duplicate contacts into your database and add more work for yourself. So when you're setting your import headers, you want to make sure you're including critical information that HubSpot can use to deduplicate contacts, whether they're on your list or a contact that's already existing in your database. This way, HubSpot can automatically deduplicate the contacts and you won't have multiple, let's say, Joe Smiths uh, in your database. And so if you're importing contacts, you'll always want to include their email as the identifier and the way for HubSpot to deduplicate the contacts. Now, if you're importing companies, you'll want to include the website URL as the identifier and way for HubSpot to deduplicate companies. Now, if you work in an industry where people don't always have a website URL, that's okay. There is a workaround. We often find this with clients who work with construction companies who don't always have a website. So what you can do is include a custom contact property that requires a unique value. So you can see in this example, one of the example co companies doesn't have a domain URL, but we can use a custom property, let's call it client ID, that will be a unique number. And HubSpot can then use this unique number as a way to deduplicate contacts. To set this up in HubSpot, when you're creating a new property, you wanna make sure you check this button, require unique values for this property. So that will limit this property to only having unique values, therefore HubSpot can deduplicate companies using this property. Now let's say you already have duplicate contacts, there is a way to fix it. So when you're in HubSpot, you wanna to go to contacts and then contacts again from the dropdown and then go to the action button at the top and click manage duplicates. Now we recently cleaned up our duplicate contacts, but this is where duplicate contacts and companies, if you click the tab at the top, will show up where you can then go through them and either merge or reject their suggestions. Not every contact HubSpot suggests will be a duplicate because for example, you might have two people with the same name but you can use that as a base to go through and clean up your database. Before you begin going through the contacts and reviewing or rejecting them, what you wanna do is click this select properties to review link at the top. And this will allow you to pick what properties you wanna to view to compare against the two contacts. For this, it'll probably be something like their name, their email, maybe an ID number that you have uh, customized in HubSpot. It, it'll be anything that you can use to really differentiate between the two contacts to make sure that you are merging the right contacts together. So for this one, we've got 11 properties selected. That's way too many. Let's limit it to first name, company name, email. And let's say maybe you want to compare the state region just to make sure. So once you have selected the properties you want to compare, you can go ahead and click apply. And then you will want to select the first contact for review. So just click the review button. And then you can go through each of the properties. And if it looks like they are a match, you can go ahead and click the merge button at the bottom. If they are not a match, you can go ahead and click cancel and then click the reject button on the main screen for that contact. And that will clear them out from this uh, duplicate record database. And then you can just work on each of the contacts, reviewing, merging, and rejecting them as needed. Please note that once you merge a contact, it cannot be undone. So make sure that you are confident in your decision to merge them. And you may have a lot of duplicate contacts at first, but work on it over time and schedule a monthly time to go over it and work through them all. Once you have it really pared down and you have caught up on all your duplicates, going through this monthly will save you a lot of time in the future rather than waiting for it to all build up. Finally, let's go over setting contacts as non-marketing. 
Some different categories of contacts you can set as non-marketing would be unsubscribe contacts, so people who have signified that they don't really want to hear from you, bounce contacts, which means their email is probably invalid for one reason or another, and unengaged contacts, so people who haven't unsubscribed, they haven't bounced, but they're just not engaging with your emails. Um, typically for this, this, these are people who have not engaged with your last 11 or so emails. And so we recommend setting up lists for each of these criteria, reviewing them monthly, and setting contacts as non-marketing accordingly. So you can see here, we've got uh, bounced emails, opted out emails, unengaged contacts, as well as users with non-company emails. That's just an additional list we have for this client. But I really recommend starting out with bounced, unsubscribes, and unengaged. So to set a contact as non-marketing, go into your list and start selecting the contacts that you want to set as non-marketing. This might be the whole list, in which case you can select this box at the top and it will highlight all of them on that page. Or you can just click the select few that you want to set as non-marketing. So once you click on them in the checkbox, go to more and then click on set non-marketing contacts. These are already set as non-marketing because we just did the HubSpot maintenance for this client, but you can go ahead and click, it will usually tell you to confirm that you want to set them as non-marketing and you will then have non-marketing contacts. All right, so that is how you keep your contacts clean in HubSpot by properly importing contacts, cleaning up your duplicates and setting contacts as non-marketing. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our next tech tip.